Want to begin using Clubhouse but not sure where to start? We're here to show you the ropes. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com and in this video I'll be walking you through our beginner's guide to Clubhouse. Now let's get started. If you haven't reserved your Clubhouse username yet, check out our tutorial on how to sign up for Clubhouse. Once your username has been reserved, the next step is to wait for an invite either from one of your friends who is already using Clubhouse or from Clubhouse themselves. Invites will be sent through text message with a link to join. Tap the link you were sent to accept your invite. Then you're ready to set up your profile. If you like, you can import your profile info from Twitter. To customize your profile for Clubhouse, tap Enter My Info manually. If you've already reserved your username, your information should be pre-filled in these boxes. If necessary, fill in or change the information requested. If everything looks good, tap Next. Now add a photo for your profile. Tap the Add Photo button, then either import a photo from your device's library, or select Take Photo to snap a new one. Adjust the crop of your photo, then tap Choose. Tap Next to move on. Tap OK to allow Clubhouse to access your contact list. If any of your contacts are already on Clubhouse, you'll be prompted to follow them. Tap Looks Good to follow your contacts that are on Clubhouse, or select individually if you'd like to pick and choose which of your contacts to follow. Now select any topics that interest you. There are categories like writing, design, Instagram, entrepreneurship, small business, and more. Then tap Find People. Clubhouse will then present you with accounts you should follow based on the topics you're interested in. To follow all of their suggestions, tap Follow. To pick and choose which of these suggested accounts you'd like to follow, tap Select Individually. Tap the plus sign beside any account you're interested in following. When you're done, tap Follow at the bottom. To let Clubhouse send you notifications, tap Allow. Now you're ready to start using Clubhouse. To further customize your Clubhouse profile, tap your profile icon in the top right corner. Then tap Add a Bio. Here you can add some information about yourself. Feel free to add whatever you like. Some people like to use this space to showcase what kind of work they do, something about their personality, or their interests. Type in whatever you'd like to say, then tap Done to save. You can also link your other social media accounts to your Clubhouse profile. Tap Add Twitter or Add Instagram to link your accounts on those platforms. When you're finished customizing your profile, tap the arrow in the top left corner to go back to the home screen. Clubhouse gives new members two invites to share with their friends who aren't yet on Clubhouse. To send out invites, tap the envelope icon at the top of the screen. Here you'll see a list of people who are on your device's contact list and have friends on Clubhouse but who haven't yet joined themselves. Tap Invite to share one of your invites with that person. You'll only get two invites to start with, but after you've been on Clubhouse for a while, you'll gradually be offered more invites to send out. Clubhouse is a great place to learn about topics you're interested in, like social media and marketing, stocks, and more. Based on the topics you indicated you are interested in and the people you're following, you'll see upcoming Clubhouse events you might be interested in. Tap the calendar icon at the top to explore more events. Here you can find more upcoming events Clubhouse thinks you'll like. If you tap Upcoming for You at the top, you can pick All Upcoming to see all public upcoming events on Clubhouse. If you see an event you're interested in, tap it to see more details. If you'd like to attend, tap Add to Cal. You can then add it to your Google or Apple Calendar. When the time for the event rolls around, you can easily tap the link from your calendar to join. If you'd like to be notified whenever a certain club or person is hosting future events, tap the bell icon beside the host name. If you see an event in progress that you'd like to check out, tap Join the Room in Progress. You'll be able to listen to the conversation going on in that room. While you're in a clubhouse room, there are a few buttons you can make use of. At the bottom, you'll find the Raise Hand button, which you can use to indicate if you'd like to speak. The plus button allows you to invite other people into the room. When you're ready to leave, tap Leave Quietly to get out of the room without disrupting anyone. If you tap All Rooms at the top, you'll be able to minimize the room you're listening to while continuing to browse the Clubhouse app. The controls will still appear at the bottom of your screen. 
To host a Clubhouse event of your own, tap the New Event button in the top right corner. Then add a name for your event. If you'd like to have a friend co-host the event with you or be a guest speaker, tap Add a co-host or guest. Select the friend you want to include. Now choose the date and time you'd like your event to begin. If your event pertains to people in one of the clubs you're part of, you can select a host club if you'd like. Finally, add a description for your event. You can include what topics you'll be talking about, an agenda for the discussion, or any other pertinent information. When you're done adding details, tap Publish in the top right corner. After creating your event, you can easily invite people to attend by tweeting about it or by copying the event link to send to your friends or post online. Your event will appear under My Events on the Clubhouse Events page. To find more like-minded people to connect with on topics you're interested in, tap the search icon in the top left corner of the Clubhouse homepage. Here you can search for people and groups on Clubhouse. Let's say you're starting your own Etsy shop. You could type in Etsy on Clubhouse search and find tons of groups with other people interested in that topic. Clubhouse groups are a great place to network and get information and tips. There are tons of groups to join about all kinds of topics, so you're sure to find your own niche there. To start your own clubhouse room, tap Start a Room at the bottom. Then select whether you want it to be open to anyone, a social room with people you follow, a closed room where only specific people you select can join, or a room within one of the clubs you're part of. If you like, tap Add a Topic on the right to type in what your room is about. Then tap Let's Go or Choose People if your room is private to move on. If you selected a closed room, you'll be prompted to select friends to invite to your room. Once your room is open, just wait for the people you've allowed to join to come in, then you're ready to start chatting. That does it for our beginner's guide to using Clubhouse. Let us know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.